Yeah, hi everyone, welcome to Sludge for another week. Um, uh, geez, we're really low on runners, aren't we? Just uh, have absolutely nothing racing. I think we're probably about 60 or 80 runners down on what we normally have through the year. But anyway, the stable's full of uh, really nice young potential uh, young horses, so it's all good. Uh, we'll have a few runners this week, a couple of them are good chances, so let's get into it. Yeah, big zippity zoo star. He's ready to go first up. He had a bleed his last start, this horse, so um, he's had a, a good spell. He's come back in. He trailed up great the other day at Geelong. He's had a couple of really good solid gallops since, and he's ready to go back to the races. You can see I've got him really fit. He's done plenty of work. Um, I've got him in at Seymour on Friday, but he's drawn really poorly, so I'm going to have a look at the, I'm going to nominate him for Geelong, and um, and we might even run him at Geelong. I'll just toss up whether we go to Seymour or not. Um, but uh, you can see he's in really good order. I expect him to go well. It, traditionally, he sort of takes one or two runs to come up. Um, he's probably a, a genuine miler. I've tested the water a couple of times over a mile and a quarter, but I, I just think he's, um, he's more of a miler for mine. So uh, that's probably where we'll stay. We'll stay to the 1600 metres, but um, uh, really looking forward to him getting back to the race. He's a beautiful horse, plenty of ability. And as you can see, I've done plenty of work with him and uh, he's ready to go to the races. That's Zippity Zoo Star. Uh, Geelong Wednesday, we'll take Bo Cougar, she'll run first up. Uh, I've just been holding back, she's been sort of ready to race for the last few weeks this filly, I've just been holding back on her to make sure that she um, she's uh, ready to go. She was just um, eating enough, but she's, uh, it seems to her last few gallops, she's, um, uh, she's galloped, she's galloped good and has eaten up well since. So you can see she's, um, she's pretty forward in condition. A genuine staying sort of filly, um, doesn't show us a, a real lot of speed when we do um, the track work, but she's always nice and strong through the line. You can see she's a nice tight filly, she's um, pretty much fully grown now and expect her to have a really good prep. So she's only had the one start and ran second at Geelong um, over the 1400. She spelled really well as you can see and she's come back in great order. So she'll run first up over 1500, hopefully um, draw a nice barrier, get a nice run and be hitting the line nice and strong. That's Bo Cougar at Geelong on Wednesday. Cat Noir goes to Geelong on Wednesday. Um, really tossing up what to do with this filly. You can probably see she's uh, just going a little bit fluffy in her coat, sort of a bit of cold weather, just sort of uh, just turned her coat. So I don't know how many more runs she's got left in her. She's done a lot of racing. Um, she's a very good last start winner. Um, we're just not sure whether she's a mile or a mile and a quarter horse. So I'm going to hedge my bets and go to a 1700 at Geelong. She'll bounce and she'll sit right up on the speed and, um, and she'll take a power of, of catching. And then I suppose after that, it's just a matter of how long we keep her in work. Does handle wet track. So I'd like to sort of have her racing sort of July or something if I could. Um, so whether she has a little let up after this run, um, I'm not sure, but um, a very fit horse, very healthy horse. Um, and uh, she's racing, you know, she's been running in very strong grades. So that's Cat Noir at Geelong on Wednesday, expect it to go well. As always, we all try to encourage young people to come through the stable and, um, and uh, achieve their dreams. Young girl Talia Robinson has uh, come on board, of, oh, probably six or eight months ago, I suppose, and um, she uh, wants to be an apprentice jockey and she had her first jump out through the week. So here's Talia to tell you a bit about herself. Hi guys, my name is Talia Robinson. I work here at Amesley Lodge for probably about 10 months now. And I've just been accepted into the Rider Development Squad for Race in Victoria. I had my jump out, my first ever jump out um, Tuesday on Champagne Savler and we came second in the trial. He jumped out wonderful and you know, I just, he did most of the work for me, which was really good for the first time. Um, but I had a really fun time, got back, told me, um, told me trainer how the horse went. Over the next 12 months, hopefully I can ride a lot more trials, improve my experience and become accepted as an apprentice jockey. That's it for another week at MC Lodge. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, busy, we took a few horses down the trials, took seven down to the trials at Terrain. A couple of them trialled up pretty good. A uh, nice young horse called Champagne Sabre. I thought he trolled up okay. Young Talia had his, her first ride on him, which was good. A um, couple of two-year-olds. I think um, I think our two-year-olds are really forward this year. Um, I've sort of bought a, a more of a precocious type of horse uh, than I traditionally buy in the last couple of years. So I think we're going to get a few sort of lateish sort of as two-year-olds get up and running, which is a little bit unlike me. And then we have them as sort of a spring three-year-olds. But anyway, a um, couple of those trolled up okay. 
Uh, what have we got racing this week? Uh, interesting to see how Bo Cougar goes first up. Um, nice sort of staying three-year-old filly. Um, uh, 1500 of Geelong should suit, so she'll get back and run home strong. Cat Noir can't be going any better. Um, she's really nice horse. Um, just sort of see how she holds up to the jumper from maiden up to 64 grade. If she copes with that, she might be worthwhile having a little crack at a half-decent three-year-old race somewhere. Um, what else? Uh, Kangaroos will get their first win this week. Play Hawthorne, that'll be good. That'll be their first win for the season and uh, get them off the bottom of the ladder, which will be good. What else? Uh, the Cats were probably pretty lucky the other day to beat us, but anyway, um, that's about all I've got, I suppose. Until next week, see you later. And hopefully over the next 12 months, I can improve my riding and hopefully Yeah, fantastic boss you are, Jamie. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say now. Is that it? I don't really want to say much more. <laughs>